Good morning Good and morning. welcome back to Leyland the Adventures. Back. We're back, baby. <laughs> Madrid on plants. A Madrid on plants, but slightly planned, I'm afraid. You may have seen a video we produced in December, I think, I think for so. Madrid No Thrills uh, art exhibition, the photo exhibition. So we met uh, Guille and Laura there, who have their own olive oil producing company. Yeah, and we made a try of the olive and everything. We will leave the link below of that video. Yeah. And uh, today we're going to go and see how it's produced. And we're not doing this alone, we're joining Madrid No Frills team. So let's yeah, go! Let's go! Laura's olive grove. This is quintessentially Spanish. Let's go see. started in 2011. Um, Lara and I decided at the first moment to produce our own olive oil because we saw that achieving a fair price for the farmer was super difficult because the price is set by the market. Even in Spain, extra virgin olive oil is consumed, where extra virgin olive oil is consumed, people doesn't know what, what extra virgin is. So, we are doing this tour today to show What's behind the bottle? How do we take care of an olive tree? Why organic? How a tree grows? Um, and the most important part, at the tasting table, which is set at the shade of a tree, we will let you feel the aromas and the taste of the olive oil, so that when you go to the supermarket or when you have a, an olive oil bin in front of you, you will know if it's something good or not. And having the knowledge to choose. Smell this one and tell me if you can find feel sorry, something fruity. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. A little bit. Next step will be drinking a little bit. Mm. Not not the not everything but just okay. like two or three milliliters. You swallow it looking for the bitterness and the spice. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's bitter or spicy for you? No, it's getting no, there. A little here. bit, but no, 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 no. And the next sample, we are tasting it in that blue glasses. That are the glasses that professional people use. So what they do is they warm the glass with the hand, a little like this, maybe for five seconds or three seconds. And now, Wisman. Oh, yeah. oh. This is like a si, tomato. Si. Wow. Oh. Okay. Can you feel the difference between si, the yeah. aromas? Oh. This is fruity. This is tomato. Mm. And it's also grass. It's like, mm. like green aromas. Okay? I wish you could smell this. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit in your mouth. Yeah. It's spicy here. <laughs> <laughs> that's bitter and that's spicy. Okay. <laughs> First, it's not really bitter, not really spicy. Then maybe one or two seconds later, you feel the bitter here, mm -hmm. and then the spicy. 
So wow. this one, the blue one, is the one we produce here, the Cornicabra variety, which is one of the strongest varieties we have in Spain. So we finished our tour and taste, and now we're going to taste something different. They prepared as a um, lunch with the products from the area, and the first thing we're tasting is this wine. Uh, it's called Talavera and it's from here. And here we have the team. Qué guapo estás de granjero, Johnny. lunch it was amazing the products they are really really good we were tasting some olives pate uh, the black ones and the green ones amazing they taste like the olives it was so good we taste some wine from the area some other things like their own recipes adding the oil it was so so good like we had uh, some lettuce thing with some olive oil and salt, just that, and it was amazing. It's really amazing the way that some olive, good olive, can do to your food. And we never think about that when we go to the supermarket. You can feel the difference when you try something that is really good, really good produced, and as we saw here, made with love. That's something that I really, really appreciate. I was so happy to come here today and be able to see the process and how they do everything. It's so good that young people are getting in this kind of business, renewing these culture things and just love it. I'm really grateful. Thank you, Guillermo and Laura. We, we hope to try your olive oil in so many restaurants. We're back in the bus going to Madrid and we have a little surprise that they gave us. We will do a little unboxing that we will put after this. But uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. We do enjoy us back because we spent some time out. Yeah. <laughs> and um, thumbs up if you like the video. If you want to keep watching those videos, subscribe and you can follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, and what is the other one? Twitter. Everything. <laughs> See ya. See you. Well, so here we are to make a little unboxing of the olive products uh, of, oh, of Project Los Aires. This uh, bottle of oil. Oh, we got some of the wine we were trying, some of the cheese that we were tasting as well. We got some more oil. We really recommend you to, to do it if you're in Madrid, if you're around, if you want to know more about what you're eating, uh, we really recommend it.